Hello, hello. Milan Al-Khalai Flourishing here. Today is Friday, March 24th, 2023. And I'm coming back for another update on my fibroid healing journey. So if you're new here, I'm documenting my journey. It started, I started documenting it um, the end of last year. However, I've been dealing with this and I've been on this journey um, consciously since the end of 2021. And I say consciously is because that's when the fibroid was found. However, it probably was there for a while before then. So where am I at these days? These days, as far as uh, the physical stuff, right? Like how are my periods? Am I cramping any worse or less? I would say that nothing has gotten worse, so that's a plus. Um, I have made progress, but I'll be honest, I am impatient. And so I feel like I would like to have more progress, but I also don't want to discount the progress that has been made. And so I will say that it, it has gotten better and it's gonna continue to get better as I continue to lean in to the work that I'm doing. And so one of the things that I've been working with, experimenting with for the past about two, almost three months now, and I can't remember if I talked about this in my last one, I don't think I did. It's a, it's a method called cycle syncing. I don't wanna to get too much into it in this video, but perhaps I can do a separate video talking about it and my experience with it. In short, it's a way of eating that supports our, horm our reproductive hormonal shifts that go on throughout our menstrual cycle. And so there are four key phases for us to pay attention to. And based off of where we're at in, in, the, in those phases, there are foods that we can focus on eating during those times that better help our body to naturally, it supports our body and naturally uh, regulating and getting rid of excess of those hormones so there's four phases there's the menstrual phase which is basically when it's your period sorry I'm at the park <laughs> um, is when you have your period so for most that phase is about three to seven days is the length of um, a woman's period could be so that's the menstrual phase after the menstrual phase, you go into the follicular phase, and that's when your body is doing its thing and preparing to release an egg for fertilization. That's for about, it depends, Everyone's, every woman's cycle is different, uh, but usually like seven to like around seven-ish days. And then there's the ovulatory phase, which is really short. That's when the egg is just about to be released and then once it's released, and that's like usually three to four days. So after you ovulate and the egg is there, um, if it doesn't get fertilized, you move into the luteal phase, um, which is like your body kind of hanging out to see if we got pregnant or not. And so during these four phases, there are different dominances in hormones that are going on to support the reproductive whole thing. So there's specific foods that is helpful if you consume them during those different phases that are in harmony with your body and supporting your body doing what it normally needs to do um, and regulating all these hormones. And so it's still pretty early. I read a book called The Woman Code by the author's name is Alyssa Vitti. And I, uh, I read the book and learn more about it that way and there's recommendations for the different foods it's not strict it's not saying like you have to eat like that but it encourages you to include those foods into your diet when you're in the different phases and so it takes a few months to really start to feel the differences so i'm at a place now where i'm coming up on three months where i am starting to see some of the benefits are starting to feel some some positive shifts and changes so i'll definitely come back and share and share more um in another separate video but that's one thing that i have been doing differently uh because for me this journey has showed me 
just how much like more in tune that I can be with my body and that when we're in tune with nature and we're not fighting, um, we're in harmony with ourselves, it affects what we feel physically, like what we go through. And of course, you know, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. But I'm really learning now in this part of the journey of being in harmony with myself and not resisting myself. There's no point in resisting the fibroid. It is there. It's there for a reason. It's there to teach me something. So instead of resisting it, I can learn about it. And I can learn about how to be in harmony with my my thoughts, my feelings, my emotions, my spirit, and my body. Because the disharmony is what got me here. Right? So that's really been my focus. Is not fighting life. Not fighting the situations. He's not saying surrendering to them. Um, but just understanding and being able to move from looking at it and addressing things from that place is so much more empowering. So that's where I'm at. And that's really the only things that I've done differently. Um, and I've noticed already with the cycle sinking, the main thing is that I don't get bloated anymore when I eat, which is great because I used to look at food and get bloated. And I'm like, I, all I ate was kale salad. Why am I bloated? So that's been really helpful, but I will talk about that in another video. But overall, I feel, I feel good. The first three days of my period, my energy is just low. It just is still, um, but I've accepted that. And I've also made my environment conducive to when my period comes those first three days, I need to rest, I need to take it easy. And so I've respected that and I'm gonna continue to move forward. So. Until the next video, guys, stay fly and stay flourishing.